Yes, then guys, how are you all doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we have officially got the first ever FIFA 22 Silver Stars in our hands and it looks like an absolute baller. It is finally here, guys. Can we get some hype down below in the comment section? Drop me a like if you're excited for Silver Stars and let me show you how to unlock this boy. So Suleiman, the Ghanaian man in the league, uh, playing for Ren, I believe it is Stab Ren, the same team as Jeremy Doku. And this card looks incredible and I'm so happy they've kept it exactly the same as last year round. All we've got to do is win three matches in silver lounge score eight goals in silver lounge and assist six the only requirements for the silver lounge game mode is the same as last year it is just a completely full silver team so what i've done is i've thrown together some tips for building your silver squad and a couple of silver squads that i'm gonna be rocking this year so let's go over to pass morsi and he'll talk you all through it Yes then guys, so with Silver Stars finally here, I am here to help as much as I can in regards to the Silver Squad building process. I've already posted a few Silver Squad builders across my channel, so if you want to go and check out one of these squads in depth, definitely go back and have a little look. I've got a playlist called FIFA 22 Silvers, where you can find all my squad builders. But essentially when it comes to building a team for Silver Stars, there's a few things you've got to look out for. A lot of the players in the top five leagues, I'm talking the Premier League, the Bundesliga, La Liga, etc., tend to be more on the premium side of things. Like these boys here, Atibo and Dennis, they get a nice hyperlink which allows you to, you know, create an awesome looking hybrid like this squad. But as it stands, guys, their prices are gonna go up and up and up with the release of Silver Stars. As you can see, the cheapest by now for this man is 4.3K. They're getting snapped up instantly. So definitely look to go to the more obscure leagues. We're talking the J League, like this little trio in the corner. We've got Russian League, we've got the MLS. These boys tend to be a little bit more on the more affordable side of things. And especially if you can find some hidden gems like these Japanese boys down here. Shoji is an absolutely insane centre back this game. We've got a left back with 90 pace, a midfielder 83 pace and incredible looking stats for a silver. These are the kind of boys that you want to be keeping an eye out for when putting together your awesome Silver Stars team. Also, don't necessarily only look for Silver Rare cards. I understand if you wanted the card design looks a little bit better, but there are some insanely sick Silver Common cards this year, and they tend to be somewhat more on the affordable side. Less flashy, somewhat more cheaper boys. Like this left back is a fantastic option. He gets a strong link into one of the 5 star skill Silvers. Aaron Ramsdale down here, probably the best Premier League English goalkeeper you can get in the Silver game. But one of the main reasons I do love Silver Squad Builders is purely for the links. You can get some insanely cool looking hybrid teams, utilize the nationalities, the leagues, a lot of league diversity with certain nationalities like England, for example. We got Premier League into the Championship and then these two boys managed to link out to the Swedish League. But at the end of the day, it is completely up to you on what players you want to get, guys. There are some crazy looking teams that I have mocked up already this year. I've got a Bundesliga silver one on my channel with centre backs like this. I think the average pace in that team just for the centre backs is 85, which is crazy. But these guys are going to be damn expensive. Like Maxim Leitch here. I believe there's another guy called Klunter and Akpagumu. I think those are the boys. Three at the back, three centre backs, 87, 86 and 81 pace. It's crazy. Also look for obscure nationalities. That is a big thing. Checking out Dennis again. Nigeria, as you can see, have some crazy looking silver cars this year around. Same with Jamaica. This man's got an informed good old Blair Turger. Absolute baller. I picked him up for 9k. Obviously with the silver star hype potentially around the corner, he's going to skyrocket in price. But try your best to be unique when putting together your silver squad, guys. You can copy some squads that I've created here. However, some of these guys may be a little bit more on the expensive side of things. But try to be unique and be unique to yourself. Pick players that you think look interesting. Thing. If you want five star skillers, go for it. If you want obscure national ballers like this chap from Fiji, big man Roy Krishna, then get him in your team. At the end of the day, the silver objectives and the silver friendly matches are here for fun, guys. It should be entertaining. That's why you're playing FIFA. I get it, it is Panini. You want to collect every card possible, but have a bit of fun with it. Try the obscure, unique cards. Test out some cool nations. If you find any hidden gems, let me know down below. I'll definitely be intrigued to know. When it comes to putting together my silver teams, the first few things I tend to look for, obviously, is pace. We need a lot of pace in this game mode. Pace can pretty much carry you to a few victories. So defenders tend to look for 80 plus across the whole back four. And this is probably the team I'm going to be using to unlock the current silver star out now. Now, 90 pace on both fullbacks, 91 on this chap, 81 and 81 pace in the centre backs. Goalkeeper is solid as well, boys. Goalkeepers this time round are pretty overpowered. Just make sure you've got a man with a decent bit of height and he'll do a solid job for you. In the midfield, we've got pace coming out of everywhere. A table is just a super solid option, high, high work rates. Should be a gold card, so I'll blagged in the silver bracket, 72 overall, so we will take that. And then these boys down here, 89 pace, five star skills. Look at this card for a silver, insane. And my most important tip this year, guys, for Silver Stars is the best time to buy silver cards. 
on Thursday at about 6 to 7 p.m. Marquee matchups gets dropped every damn week, and every single time one of the rewards is a silver pack. So there is the biggest influx of silver cards on the market. You're going to be able to snipe up cards super cheap, get guys on a quick low bid. Just that is the best time to put your teams together. So if you're not potentially looking to grind out silver stars tonight being a Wednesday, wait till tomorrow, wait till the afternoon, the evening, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then build your teams. That tends to be what I go for, guys. I wait for marquee matchups, wait until there's a lot of silver cards coming on the market and then I put together my sick team. At the time of recording this, I am currently in the process of putting together a six silver African. African Nations team. Ghana, Nigeria have some incredible players. Duncan, Adu here. Mentz has come out of nowhere. This man looks absolutely quality for a silver cam. Uh, he got the skill moves, decent shooting, decent link up stats. We love to see it. And then, of course, the big man Wakaso. This boy, last year round was the most ridiculous silver we've ever seen. He's taken a downgrade, but he is still absolutely sensational. So guys, if you do manage to throw together some mock-up African Nation silver teams, let me know down below. Find my Twitter in the description. Send me a photo over and I'll take a little look because that is my current aim when it comes to silver squad making. And anyway, guys, that's my on this one. I hope you enjoyed as always. I hope these tips help you when it comes to building your perfect silver squad builder. But most importantly, remember to have fun. Have fun building a team, use players that you think look interesting and enjoyable in game, and just enjoy yourself. Anyway, good luck grinding that silver star, guys. I'll catch you very soon for another one. Take it easy.